Hi everyone, it's Blizz Monkey here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make Rise of the Tomb Raider in 2023, regardless of if you have the game on Steam or Epic Games or wherever you have the game on. Now, first thing first, you might want to go to Nexus Mods and download Rise of the Tomb Raider version independent mod manager. I'm going to link it in the description for you. Go to Files and download whatever is the latest version of this. Now, find it and extract that mod manager. Then you might even want to rename it and put it somewhere safe because we're going to use this file or folder from now on go in it we got extractor.exe and mod manager.exe we have nothing to do with the extractor so just launch mod manager then you launch it for the first time it will ask you to find your game installation folder find it for me it is on steam steam apps common rise with tomato after that the mod manager will be loading up and now when it comes to installing a mod, when you go to like pretty much any mods description right now, they will tell you things like this game, this mod only works on build beta 813. This mod doesn't work on Epic Games version and whatnot, but that's not the thing anymore. That was before this mod manager existed. Even though the descriptions will tell you that you cannot mod the game if you have the game on Epic Games and whatnot, don't worry, you will be able to mod it. All you have to do is find your mod. In order to show you, I have this long hair mod right now. You can just drag and drop the zip file to your mod manager and it works. But instead, I highly advise you to unzip this mod file first. Go in it. This mod doesn't have it, but pretty much any mod you're going to download will have a readme text in it. And always read those readme text because they will always give you the most accurate tutorial for installing the mod because... Sometimes the descriptions won't be like the, the installation tutorial for some descriptions won't work. They won't be accurate, but the installation tutorial you will find in the readme text of the mod folder will always be accurate. So after that, just take your mod folder and drag it and drop it to the mod manager. This one is very simple. It's just a single file, but a lot of the mods will require you to install like so many different mods. Like, let me give you some random example if you want doesn't matter what is this just find the readme text like it will tell you to install this first then install that then install that then go to campfire and install this equip this uh, outfit this one that i'm going to show you it's a simple one it's just a single file but always read that readme text and always follow those readme text properly otherwise they will just not going to work then you can launch your game and a little pro tip for you always disable your pure hair pure hair doesn't work with some mods so just disable it and then launch your game and once we are in the game as you can see the mod works just fine now if you want to uninstall your mod all you have to do is tick this box and it will be uninstalled you can click it again it will be installed you can just change it on the fly as you wish if you want to completely get rid of it from the mod manager you can just like click your mod and then click this x icon and it will be deleted it from the mod manager as well but yeah that's basically the way you install mods now like i said some mods are very complicated especially joestar mod one just follow your readme text properly and if you actually ever need help you can just watch one of my mod review videos for Rise of the Tomb Raider. Go to like description and find whatever mod you want to install, whatever file you want to install. You can just like go to timestamps or whatever and learn how to install it. But yeah, otherwise we are basically done. Mod manager is great. Don't forget to endorse Matthew for making this incredible piece of tool. And I also, I hope you find this video helpful. And yeah, that's about it. Until next time, take care everyone. See ya.